So real quick, I'm just gonna go over the parts that I have here on the table and explain a little bit about each one. So this one here, this is actually a cell phone camera mount with a hot shoe or a cold shoe on top here. So this is basically just a handle. You can slide the phone in right there, basically just like that. And then you can put a microphone or a light or anything else up in this shoe here. And it's just a cool little utility to make it a little easier running around shows, getting footage or doing whatever you do as an influencer. Um, and it's just, it's custom printed. We even put our logo on it. This is originally a Thingiverse design that I cut down and uh, customized just for me. We're not selling it, don't worry about it. Uh, but it's kind of cool how you can just do stuff like that. Uh, next over here, we've got some sort of fan shroud for God knows what. Um, it looks like it belongs on some sort of jet engine or uh, some sort of turbine fan, uh, but it's just a shroud housing that printed easily, it's gonna be strong, it's gonna you know, resist high temperatures and be a good part that'll last, last a while. Cool part, uh, here I have two parts that have been put together with metal components. So this is like a bearing, this is like a friction bearing in here and you can adjust this around, but these parts are stiff enough to work for the intended application. That's kind of a cool little double part. <clears throat> here, this is kind of a similar thing where you would have a bolt going through here and the same part on the other side and it's a locking joint. So this was actually for a gimbal that I printed actually a couple of years ago. Uh, but this example is great because you can see inside the part it's effectively hollow. This is one of the biggest benefits of 3D printing. You can have a solid block that's super strong but it can be missing you know, 70 to 80% of the actual material on the inside, making it super light. And you still get that stiffness and strength of the nylon. Remember, it's zip ties. That stuff's tough. Very, very good stuff. Uh, here, we've got an HVAC duct of some kind, you know, and you've got customized little things in here, holding a filter or something, and then different, you know, different plenums and, and ducts on the outside of the part, a mounting bracket. And you can make this whole thing custom and it'll be strong. And if this wasn't an HVAC system, it would last a very long time. Here's an interesting example. I actually made this, I just made a little sketch in Illustrator and then turned it into an STL and extruded it up. And it's like a clip that I can put onto a whiteboard and then hold the Expo pens right in there. It's just a little flexy, you know, just a cool little thing. And it's just strong. I did it because I know CF nylon would be easy. It would be stiff and strong, uh, but still have some flexibility and toughness that I wanted so it wouldn't, you know, crack or break or shatter. Over here, we've got press brake tooling. So this is the HTN CF25. So it's comparable to aluminum, literally. And it's a form for putting in a press brake for bending steel and other metals and sheets of things or tubing and things of that nature. And you can actually print press brake tooling extremely effectively out of this material. So you don't have to cut it out of aluminum or steel. You can make it and you'll have it the next day uh, to any custom specifications you need. This is a huge application that's saving tons of time and money for a lot of machine shops out there. Uh, next, we've got that bike part that I was talking about earlier. It's a little bracket for the brakes, uh, high temp CF25, so it'll last and it'll be able to resist the heat. Uh, this is a vacuum mold. It's actually a section of a vacuum mold. And we can print this in different ways to actually have air channels going through the entire surface. Uh, or you can print it totally solid and make it pretty well airtight. Um, but with the CF, with the carbon fiber in the nylon, it can survive hundreds of hundreds of passes through the heat and temperature that you're exposing it to in the vacuum molding uh, machine. So here we've got a benchy. Obviously, no explanation needed there. It's a beautiful benchy. Uh, we've got some sort of slot bracket here. This was for holding uh, some sort of rod that went in here and stacked or something like that, but it's just a clean overall very nice, stiff part. It's gonna do its job and do it well. 
Uh, here, obviously, we've got the classic turbine. You probably, I mean, depending what you're sending through this, you might want to use a different material like PSU or something like that. But, you know, this is going to hold up better than uh, PLA or probably ABS, uh, depending on the application. You know, if you've got solvents or chemicals going through it, something to consider. So here we actually made filament uh, filament rollers. So we can have a roll of our filament on our metal spools. These keep your filament spools from melting in the oven when you're drying it. And we have a couple different sizes. Check them out on the site. But any spool will fit right on top of these rollers with the ball bearings in there that we got going. And it'll just go. So that's a good thing. We actually made that for an old version of the SAM HT so we could put the filament in the heated chamber and keep it dry the whole time got another bracket, just a clean little bracket thing. We've got this, uh, Edelkrone, a camera supply company or a camera accessory company, came out with a line of 3D printable products where they send you the bearings and the screws and the nuts, but you print the body and the rest of the parts for the product. So we did that here. Uh, might have a video coming out on that soon. Um, but yeah, we use carbon fiber nylon because it's stiff. It's easy to print, it's dimensionally accurate, so we're not gonna have to sand it down and do all sorts of other stuff afterwards. And we've got this sweet little tripod tilt adjustment thing. It's freaking, it's very cool. So what you can do, this is a final product. Look at that. All right, uh, here we've got a door handle and the little, what do you call that? The little pocket that the door handle sits into, you know? So this was probably 3D scanned and just recreated. Uh, and we've got some sort of, uh, I have no idea what it is, but it's heavy and it's solid and it's very strong and CF nylon, very good. So, covered the stuff on the table. Hope you got something out of this video. Uh, let us know in the comments why you love CF Nylon or what questions you have about CF Nylon. And thanks for watching, have a positive day. I'll see you on the next video.